right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, my name is Manny, and I'm the 2021 caption head for the Color Guard at Troopers Drum and Bugle Corps. Um, I'm currently in San Diego. I don't live down here, but I was hosting another event today or participating in another event. So that's why a big chunk of your staff is in the same room. Um, so uh, a little bit about me. I currently teach a handful of color guards in Southern California, um, as well as I'm working with Malachi Winter Guard in Colorado and uh, Vox Winter Guard in San Diego. Um, and uh, in previous years, I've worked with drum corps like Vanguard Cadets and Mandarins. Um, I'm very excited to, to get back on the field after a year off of not teaching drum corps. Um, I, I really, really love, I think out of the two seasons, I do prefer field season and, and being outdoors in drum corps. So um, I'm really excited for that, most of it, not necessarily the bugs in, in certain sections of the country, but it is what it is. Um, and uh, my favorite piece of equipment, is currently saber question mark. Um, however, on field, um, I tend to enjoy flag more. I just think that impacts and things like that are definitely the most enjoyable part of field color guard. So flag um, tends to be my favorite on field. Um, next, I'd like to go to Sarah and she's gonna introduce herself and talk a little bit about her experience. Hi guys, uh, so like you said, my name is Sarah. Uh, my name is Sarah Abdullah. I am from San Diego as well. Um, I actually do live here. I'm not visiting. <laughs> and, um, I was uh, a part of a military family, so I moved around a lot and Color Guard was kind of my safe space. Um, and I just fell in love with it and literally never stopped. And I don't have any intention of stopping anytime soon. So I'm very, very excited to be with you guys. Um, I started teaching in the summer of 2006, and uh, I teach a number of groups out here in San Diego, um, one of them being Vox Artium. Uh, super, super love it. I'm excited to see some familiar faces and things like that. Uh, let's see, what did you say? My favorite equipment. Um, as a performer, it was Saber. I really enjoyed performing that. As an instructor, I think it would actually be Flag. I just really like cleaning flag work. I just like when it just all goes together, it like looks, it just, when those end caps are together, it's very, very, very pleasing. <laughs> so I definitely love that. But yeah, I'm really, really excited. Uh, I think that um, you guys are gonna have a great experience with this group of people because uh, we get along very well. I'm sure you can see that we're a bunch of nerds um, and we're <laughs> color guard nerds, right? Like you wouldn't be here if you weren't a color guard nerd. So uh, definitely excited for that. And now Popcorn Richard. Which camera are you going to? Uh, I'll take for this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Richard. I'm from Southern California as well, specifically out in Riverside. Um, I have taught a number of high schools here in Southern California. I also taught at Vox Artium. I was a movement instructor there for two years. I'm now on my third year with them. Uh, as a performer, way back in 2006, I, I marched this group called Illusion, which is Independent Aid in Thousand Oaks, California. And then I did Diamante for six years. And then now I only teach. Um, and I'm super, super excited to be here at Troopers. Uh, I taught at Manage and Bugle Corps about two years ago, two seasons ago. Um, so I'm really excited to be back doing drum corps. I absolutely love it. Uh, as a performer, I was always one of the dancers. So I love, love, love dance. But when it comes to equipment, I do love Saber. Uh, and like Sarah said, I love, love, love cleaning flag, just the way it looks when you clean it. It's so crisp and so satisfying. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so that's a little bit about me. Popcorn, Matt. Hi guys. Um, I'm gonna, so like, I didn't hear me from there, but I'm gonna take this way just to kind of close it. So uh, I, started teaching in 2012. I teach, I am also from San Diego, California. Like Sarah, I basically work with Sarah everywhere that she works. And I, I work at a few uh, high schools here in Southern California. Uh, I marched Vox Arneum for six years. 
And now, uh, also, I just teach. Uh, my favorite piece of equipment would have to be my legs because I'm a huge dancer. <laughs> um, if I could, I would just dance the whole show. I don't need equipment. It's fine. Y'all can do that. But um, really, if I mean, if I have to, if you like force me to pick one, I would pick Saber because um, I feel like that one involves a lot of dance. But I am a huge boober. So that's a little bit about me. Popcorn food. Everybody so again, I'm gonna base this one because it's closest to me. Um, I'm David Ramos. I'm from uh, Chula Vista, California, which is like two cities like shy of the border. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I started in uh, high school. I only did winter grade season um, for two seasons, and then I took a year off and uh, taught, and then um, I went to box arguing for five years. I, then aged out of box and uh, went back and taught for the last two years. Um, yeah, I also teach around San Diego. Um, and yeah, I'm also a huge color nerd. I like nitpick color shows all day long if I can. And I will figure every little bit of photography out that I can. I'm one of those. So yeah, a little bit about me. What's your favorite piece of equipment? Oh, my favorite piece of equipment is rifle. Um, Followed very closely by flat because I absolutely love how lyrical and how just elegant flat is. But yeah, rifle is very followed very closely. And then popcorn if you want. Popcorn Javante. <laughs> hi, hi everyone. My name is Javante. I uh, this actually my first year teaching drum corps period so it's gonna be a new experience for me but i have i've marched uh madison scouts in 2015 and i marched uh santa clara vanguard in 2017 2018 um i marched i marched malachi since the dawn of time which was 2015 all the way through 2021 now um and um i asked my favorite piece of equipment, I would say during indoor season, I would say Sabre. Outdoors is Rifle. Uh, popcorn, uh, Kristen. Hi guys. So my name is Kristen. I live in North Texas, uh, preferably Dallas area. Um, so I guess a brief history about me is I started drum corps back in 2013. I did four years of troopers till 2016. That's how I know Allie. Um, and then for indoor, I did five years of CGT Dallas. I just finished this past season um, with, of course, with COVID reasons, but that was my fun season with CGT. Um, I've been teaching since I was 19, I'm now 25, and it's my favorite thing ever. I love teaching my kids at high school level. It's actually really fun. Um, my favorite equipment would probably have to be flag. That's what I mostly did indoor, but I love to learn rifle stuff. It's really cool. It's very unique and different, but I love, to learn the trickery of flag because you, you could do so many things. Um, right now I'm really cold, so I'm like shaking, sorry. <laughs> um, but just to give you guys like a, an idea of like troopers, because I did march there for four years, it's pretty much a great family when you first walk in. It's a very family-based organization. You're not just gonna walk in and just be a thing in the room and just stand there by yourself. Like we're very open to being a family and very traditional, but very open to obviously modern um, times right now because things are changing. We gotta evolve somehow, be you know the future of the organization. Um, but just know that when you first walk in, you're always gonna come in and be a family right away. You're never gonna be singled out. And it's very fun. It's a very fun place to be a part of. So I hope you guys enjoy it as, as well as we are, because this is technically my first year of teaching drum corps and I'm super excited. So I really want this to be a great season for y'all. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't know what else I could say unless I popcorn it to Allie, your guard commander. Hi, um, I'm Allie. I am the color guard commander for this season. I was supposed to be color guard commander last year also um, and age out, but with COVID, I got that bonus year. Yeah. Um, I am 21. I'm from Valparaiso, Indiana. Um, and I'm in college right now. I'm an elementary ed major. And again, I am the Troopers Guard Commander. Um, I've been with Troopers since 2016. I've been marching DCI since 2015. Um, my rookie year was at Pioneer and they are no longer. Um, 
Uh, my rookie year of drum corps was my first time ever touching a piece of equipment because my high school did not have a marching band program at all. Um, and so I did Pioneer for a year and then I went to Troopers in 2016. And I already knew like a lot about the core, but then when I became a member, I fell in love um, and I stuck with it. Like um, Christian said that um, Troopers is Troopers is home for me. It's my second home. Um, Christy Jackson, our core director, is my second mom. Um, and like Boyd said, when you walk into camp or any activity, if you are seating by yourself, there will that will last for two seconds, and somebody will walk up and go, "Come with me," and then you there you have a new friend. Um, and it's just very family very family-based oriented and you get so many cool experiences. Um, I know we don't do this anymore, but I got to do the Indy 500 parade once, which was really cool. Uh, we've gotten some really cool free days that I know I would not have gone to if I wasn't a part of the organization like um, San Francisco, never been, check that one off the list. Um, and so it's just, it's just an amazing activity, an amazing place for people to call their home. So, yeah. Very nice, Ali. Um, one of the best things I think having March drum corps and also, t uh, teaching it that I can say I've experienced is all of the extra, all of the relationship building, all of the camaraderie all of the the closeness that you developed uh with people coming out of working on a common goal for such an extended and intense period of time you definitely develop bonds that are unlike any other bond that you would have in another situation um i marched all the way back in 2001 and i still um communicate and interact and engage with people that i marched with all the way back in 2001 and it, it really is when you move in and you live with people and you're working towards a common goal so intensely, um, you just develop a closeness that really no other situation in life um, uh, has you develop with people. So that's really, really probably one of the best gifts Marching Drum Corps can give you. Um, uh, now that we've kind of met all of the Color Guard staff, I want to introduce our program coordinator, uh, Tim, and he's going to talk to you a little bit about not necessarily the show theme, but the theme of the season. You want me to tell him about how to make good YouTube videos also? <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, um, hi guys, I'm Tim. Uh, I have uh, been with the Troopers before. I was here in 13, 14, 15, and 16 as the brass caption head. And uh, I left and uh, went a couple other places and now I'm back home. I did wanna, before we start off with the season, I want you guys to know that um, I am totally committed uh, to making the color guard great. We have committed as much resources as we can uh, we're going to continue to commit resources to the Color Guard, and uh, we want the Color Guard to be the best in the world, which is why we brought Manny on, and uh, I believe wholeheartedly in Manny, and I think that he's brought in an incredible team of educators, and they're going to take you guys to levels that you guys have probably never seen before. Uh, so I, I wanted you guys to know that up front, that we're, you're gonna work really hard for these people, but they are gonna make you incredible performers. And uh, I, I'm really excited about that. Uh, in terms of the theme for the season, we have adopted a, a tag, so to speak. Uh, it's called Rise Up. So uh, believe it or not, that was the genesis of our show design. And we, since we weren't going that total direction of show design, we kept it for our theme of the season. So you'll see that on shirts, you'll see that on uh, materials that come out to you and things like that. It, it's, it's really meant to be a, um, a rallying cry because the troopers deserve to be a finalist drum corps 
And uh, that's my ultimate goal is to make them a finalist drum corps, not for one year, not for two years, but every year, you know, the, as a founding member of DCI, some of you guys may not know that uh, the, the founder of Jim Jones or the founder of Troopers, Jim Jones, he literally started DCI and him and a couple of other drum corps directors. So we, we owe it to our past to get in there and we owe it to us to get in there. And I'm not talking about in two years, I'm talking about now. Um, I firmly believe we're gonna get there. I know we have the staff in, the, uh, in, in this room for sure. I know we have the staff in the percussion and I know we have the staff on the visual and the brass side. And it's only uh, now down to you. And uh, the last thing I'll leave you with um, my door is always open. If you need to contact me in any, uh, for any reason, uh, I'm always here to listen. Uh, we want to make uh, the, the member experience be something incredible for the troopers. And I, I'm committed to that and I'm committed to you guys and, and committed to make this thing incredible. So if you have any questions, please reach out. If you don't have my contact information, ask Manny for it. He'll be happy to give it to you. Um, and the last thing, I said the last thing, get used to it, I'd say that a lot. Um, the last thing will be get your friends involved. You have got to get out and recruit and, and really uh, go after it. And do I have to say my favorite piece of equipment? Is that, is that a must? Yes, okay. 100%. All right. My favorite piece of equipment, since I'm a brass guy, I guess is going to have to be a swing flag. I don't even know if that's a thing. All right. So I, I like them with real chains, not those fake chains. We've got to have real chains. Anyway, I'm kidding. So um, they're all laughing at me, so I'm going to shut up now. But I'm really excited for you guys, and I'm excited for this team of educators. I'm, I'm really excited for the drum corps. Oh, by the way, we have four and a half minutes of the show already written. So we're gonna be rolling for you guys this year. So get your friends involved and work really hard for this team because you're gonna be incredible. Thank you, Tim. Yep. So um, we were not laughing at Tim and the swing flags, we were laughing with. Sarah and I love swing flags. Okay, I like, can give you some. Swing flag. Some of you on this call I've taught before, and you guys know I love some swing flags. So. <laughs> Kenzie's like, yeah. <laughs> um, so really quickly, I just want to give you a little bit more information about what the staff's kind of working on right now to get to you very shortly. Um, we are working on a vault library of videos to be posted on the website that consists of very close to 100 videos. Um, these videos are going to give you the breakdown and visual example for every type of technique exercise that you will encounter coming from us over the course of the summer, every type of technique that you need to develop if you haven't already been exposed to it so that when you get to a live rehearsal, when you get to a live audition, your body is already ready to receive choreography in the style that we, that we use on the field. Um, because I know regionally and from place to place, group to group, sometimes choreographers and instructors and staffs have different aesthetics, styles, and approaches to choreography. And Sometimes that can be really intimidating and frustrating to deal with as a performer. Talking as a performer, like I get that whole thing. You're like, hey, I know how to spin. Why can't I do like count one and two already? So I get that, the staff gets that. And so we are putting a very thorough and extensive library of video material that you will have access to um, when you enroll in the audition process virtually. Um, in addition to those videos, we're also offering master classes paced every couple of weeks or so. And in those master classes, we're gonna be covering content live that supports those videos. So for example, when you receive uh, the flag spin medley that Javante is working on or the toss medley, 
Some of those things may be skills you have never in your life even seen. And we're asking you to do them and we're asking you to do them well. So we're gonna give you the explanation of how in the videos. Um, you'll be able to contact us. But in addition to that, we're going to host master classes where we break those skills down even further. So if you have any questions, you'll have uh, staff members monitoring what you guys are doing while you're doing it, monitoring the chat, and then you'll have staff members simultaneously doing the skill. So when you have an issue, a question, a comment, or a concern, we can, adjust, uh, we can address it directly to you. And sometimes people aren't comfortable asking those questions. So you may have the question, but five other people are just scared to ask it. We'll solve it right there and then. So that's a huge benefit to the master classes. Um, outside of the technique aspect of those master classes, we are going to be giving little chunks of choreography that um, will develop skills again and kind of get you used to moving in the way that we work so that when we get to a live setting, when we get to the show material, we can say, hey, remember this piece that we did back in December? Well, let's do this right here, boom. And we start to morph it to our show. And it's not something that's coming out of left field. It's not something that you're not super comfortable doing. You've already experienced how it feels to go through those skills. So we're gonna be providing you a lot of resources, both in terms of vault video content on the website, and uh, in consistent uh, master classes starting later on this month. Um, are there any questions from any of you on the call? Anything that maybe you need to get you set up for success as a member? Any questions that your friends may have had that they sent you out to scout and report back with? Anything like that? Um, I don't know if like other people will have this issue but soon it's gonna start getting very um cold for me and snowy um and with covid sometimes it's hard to get into places inside to spin so if that issue comes up what would you like us to do who's facing those issues so um i think one of the best pieces of pieces of advice that I would have for that is learn any material that you can that has been provided. I mean, that's already gonna put you that many steps. So a lot of the movement, there's a lot of movement content coming your way, a lot. Um, there's a lot of conditioning, there's a lot of across the floors, there's a lot of stretch, there's a lot of movement content coming your way. Um, so that's an option if you have absolutely no access to outdoor or large facility. Um, notice that we are not pushing assignments. So none of it is, I'm not requiring anything of you on a timeline because I know we have members literally in communication with us from all over the country. And we have a lot of different um, access right now. And we have a lot of different weather that we're gonna have to deal with. So I get that. Um, in our live camps, once that's something that we are able to do, and at, in the live audition process, we are going to cover all that material. The intent of our vault content is more to prepare you so that you're, are, you're in the refining process once we see you live. You're not in the learning process. Now, if you happen to be in the learning process, I think you can all I'll vouch for the fact that when you're in a room full of people that have the skill, there's some sort of osmosis that takes place and all of a sudden you kind of just rise to the occasion. There are things that you maybe not couldn't necessarily do when you're standing in your backyard figuring it out, but all of a sudden when you're in a room full of people, you see something or you hear something or you're around something that clicks with you a little bit better and you're able to start working through that process. So in part we're going to rely on that um and then in the in, on the other hand we're going to be we're going to be there we're going to be there to teach we're not asking you to learn everything and perfect everything on your own we're just trying to get you as much material as possible so that you can all you can have more time you can develop as best as you can within that uh, extra time where we're not meeting life. So that was a very long way around, do the best you can, do what you can, <laughs> when you can, and where you can. Um, and any gaps that we need to fill in as a staff, we're gonna fill, we're gonna fill that in. 
we're going to make sure at the end of the day, when you need to be able to do a skill, you can do the skill. Does that make you feel a little bit better, Allie? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Are there any other questions? No? All right, well, if there's nothing else, um, all of you have my email because I keep sending these long, lengthy email blasts and I will continue to do that anytime there's an update. Um, I will again in the next communication be posting um, our, our social media so that you have access to see and acquaint yourself with us a little bit better. Uh, make sure that you are following the troopers social medias. I will again repost those in the next communication piece. Um, right now, what I'd like to do just to kind of get you guys acquainted with um, virtual learning with us is uh, Matt's going to do a little dance class and a, a little mini learning session with you just so we can kind of see how you handle it. Um, he was going through it in here. There's a lot of like really big eyes. <laughs> it's going to be fun. I promise. You just, got this. It's super fun. Um, you don't need a whole lot of space. Um, uh, you need a moderate amount of space. So go ahead and position yourself and or your camera. Um, and in about 90 seconds, we're gonna have Matt set up so he can do his thing. Manny, I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you guys later. Nice to see everybody. Thank you, Tim. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank you. 
Now we're going to just walk the feet in towards each other. So now we're in first parallel. Go ahead and bend. Stretch. Bend. Stretch. Bend. Roll up. Five. And now we're going to do really quick lines to the right. Just go pop, sit, and then as you do that, you're going to step on seven. 
So you go five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and make sure that you sit back down on eight. It's very important. So five, six, five, seven, eight. Can we do the um, those eight counts? So one more time, we go one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, down, eight. Let's do just those eight counts, or eight counts those counts. Five and six and five, six. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And then on front eight, because you just sat back down, you're going to take your right foot and shot it backwards. One, nine, ten. And as you do that, you're going to take the arms and do a big circle backwards. Nine, ten. And they should be down. On 11, 12, you're going to lift your left leg up into this nice, beautiful front attitude. So it should still be turned out, but it is to your front because you're facing this way. Okay, so you don't want to turn your hips to the front. You want to keep your hips facing the side and lift that front leg into an um, attitude. As you do that, you're going to take your arms. They're going to go into a backwards V. And you're going to look up at the sky here. Yes? So we just did top seven, eight, then back of shot, eight, nine, ten, lift up, eleven, twelve. Okay? You want to make sure that you get your foot down on um, eleven. It needs to almost be on the ground by twelve because the next thing you want to be ready to go into. So eleven down twelve. From here, we're going to do a left illusion. Let me break down a left illusion really quick if you don't know what it is. You're going to step onto your left foot. You're facing this way. Your right leg is going to swing behind you. The most important thing with an illusion is that your head and foot always stay in a straight line and they stay apart from each other. A lot of people, when they do illusions, they like to go down and then kick their leg up and then it ends up looking like this here and really awkward. You want to make sure that your foot and leg or foot and the top of your head stay in a straight line the entire time like there's a bar running through you so you can't bend which means that as i go down my leg comes up and as that happens i let my upper body swing down which moves which twists my hips all the way around so i end up facing the opposite way so you end up doing this here boom okay you can do it if you absolutely if you're struggling to do this i have no problem with you putting the left hand down just to give yourself a little support, but it would be nice in front of here to just go straight into it all the way around. Okay? So, one more time, that's 11, 12. We illusion 13, 14. You're facing this way. You're going to take your left foot and step out to the front in a big side lunge and open up 15, 16. Nice and pretty, nice, beautiful open moment. So, one more time, let's go over 9 through 16. We just did hop 7 down, 8, back shot day, 9, 10, attitude 11, 12, going to that illusion, 13, 14, step out and open, 15, 16. Okay? So take a second, take like 30 seconds to connect the 2 8 to 116, and we'll do it together. If you have questions, ask me in the chat. And then we'll do it with counts, then with music, and then we'll learn the last 16. All right, let's do one last review before we do it with counts music. So on one, two, right hand on hip, we flick out with the left hand and left foot. One, two, step across, big round is on. Three, four, and then step out into that fourth arch, cut forward, five, six, snap and pop, seven, down eight, back shot day, nine, ten, open up out to 11, 12, into that illusion, 13, 14, open up 15, 16. So let's try it with count, and then if I need to, I can do it with music for you guys so you can see what it looks like. And then we can do it together. So five, <coughs> five, and six, and five, six. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, six, six. Okay, so now I can do it with music. 
Um, so go ahead and just watch. Oh, wait, it's just putting it or back. Or actually, no. This is the chorus. So, exercise. Okay, now I'm going to do it for you. So, just watch. All right. So now when I do it with you guys, I am going to face away just so if you're watching, you can do it with me and it's not confusing. So now we're going to try it all together. Okay, bye. Work. Work. All right, ready to move on. So, right from that big stick, you're going to push off that left foot onto your right releve. You're going to put your left leg in a nice, beautiful back attitude. Your right arm is going to go to upper 45, palm down. Your left arm is going to be flat, and you're just going to do a single attitude turn over your right shoulder. There, and that's one, two. So, you just did fifth stick right out of that push off that left foot. Take it lift up into a nice double attitude turn. One, two. From here, you're going to step with your left foot, pull your right leg in. It should be popped like so. Here, and you want to see what you're going to do is you your hands, put them on the side of your chest right here, and press down. So you want to make sure your palms are down. You don't want to go touching your body or like away from your body. You want your thumbs touching the side of your chest and press down. As you do that, your right leg is popped. You're going to sink further into it. Okay? So we just did an attitude turn. So you step down with the left foot, and, and that should be two and three, four. So you were doing the attitude turn one, two, step down on two and pull the right leg in and press down three, four. So that goes six, six, up one, two, press three, four. Okay? From here, I'm gonna get, I'll do it this way and then do it facing you. What you're gonna do, you're gonna step out with the right foot in front of you, put your left hand down on the ground. You want to make a goalie like a goalie post with your left hand and your right leg. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna kick the soccer ball through with your left leg. So you take the left leg and kick it through onto the knee. And you wanna make sure, so I'll do it facing the front. So make the goalie post with your right leg, left arm, see it here. And then you're gonna take the left leg and kick through. And then what, how you wanna actually end is sitting on your left foot. So you kick through and sit. So notice how I'm not up, I'm sitting down, like so. So, one more time, you just did three, four, let that sink down, get you lower to the ground, so you can just go right into it here, and notice how my right arm does a circle. And it kind of is at the 45, not necessarily straight in front of you, because of the way you're kicking through. So one more time, we just did, Attitude turn one, two, press three, four. Uh, left hand on the ground as you kick through, five, six. And you should be sitting on your left foot. And the reason I tell you to put your hands down, the, your left hand down before you kick through, is because a lot of people, when they first learn how to do this, they kind of just like fall and they can't really slide or push forward because they don't put their hand down until after. That's why you put your hand down and then kick through so you can really propel yourself forward. Here. Yeah, and really sit down on that foot. So, to finish it off, we're on five, six, sitting down on seven, eight. All you're going to do is take the left shoulder and the right shoulder and make two circles to the back. Seven, eight. 
As you do that, you're going to lift up with your butt just in here. Seven, eight, and take that down. Um, let's do this just because it feels more natural when you do it with the body. Just go ahead and do the left shoulder. Focus on the left shoulder. Seven, eight. So that way you can end with the right arm in front like so. So seven, eight. So one more time, let's go over that eight. We just did six, six. Lift up into that as you turn. One, two. Press three, four. Kick forward, five, six. You're sitting on your butt and you come up. Seven, eight. Okay? Can we try just that eight with count? Third and four. And third, four, six, six. Turn one, two, press three, four, five. Lift seven, eight. No questions? All right. So, from here, you just lifted seven and you drop down on eight. Go ahead and put your left hand on the ground because what you're going to do is you're going to sit on your actual butt now. You're going to roll onto your back. Your legs are going to open up through center here and switch. So it is a develop. So there is a difference between brushing open this way and developing. It, this one is a little bit jabbier, so we are going to develop. So what you want to do is as you lay on your back, pull your knees together to the side, and then as you pull the knees up to the ceiling, you're going to open up the legs. Boom! And close them to here so your left leg's on top. And you should be facing the back now as you stand up. And that should be 9 to 11. Not nine, ten ish. So you did seven, eight, sit on your back, nine, open ten, here eleven. Use your right hand to push up as you stand up. Be really careful that you don't let your upper body come up or your lower body come up first, because then you go here and you start to look like an old man as you get up, and you don't want to do that. You want to make sure you use your right hand and mark that momentum of your legs. Boom to push you up so you can get here and then that way you just stand up and it looks effortless, okay? So one more time, we just did down seven, eight, open up, nine, 10, 11, press up 12. From here, you're gonna face this way. You're gonna take your left arm and make a circle around the head and then go straight into a hip, straight to your hip with the fingertips facing down. And as you do that, you're going to put your hand on your upper thigh here. And then right as you put your left hand on your hip, you're going to sink into the left hip and pop the right knee. I'm trying to do it like sideways just so you can see what it looks like. And press the hand down the thigh. So go here. Yeah. And then, but again, you would, that's not the front. Like you would, the front would be your knee. So you'd be here. You would go third, four, down, fifth, six. And that would be the actual end of it. So we go, our time we're sitting on our butt, we lift up seven, eight, sit onto your back as we develop the legs, nine, 10, 11, 12, third, four, press, fifth, six. So from the front, it goes third, four, fifth, six. Okay? Can we do nine through 16 with count? So we're down. Five. And six, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, third, four, fifth, six. Okay? Take like 15 seconds to put those two together. We'll do it. We'll do the same thing that we did with the first 16. Do it with count. I'll do it with music for you. We'll do it with music. And then we'll move on from there. So take like 15 ish seconds to put all 16 together. All right, so last review before we do it, we just opened up 15, 16. Our left leg is going to go into attitude. One, two, press down, three, four, shoot the goalie, five, six, lift the left shoulder, seven, eight, onto your back, nine, open, 10, stand up, 11, 12, around four, four, press in, six. So let's try it with count, and then I'll do it, and we'll do it all together. So we're here. Five 
and six, and five, six. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, nine, ten, six. So now I'll do it with music, and then we'll do it together. So, TJ Daniel. And notice how like that nice, it's like a really nice ending pose with the head pops. Yeah? So now let's try it all together. Back it up, guys. I'll do it big way. Which one goes? We're just doing what I need to see. One last review, and then we'll do a count. I'll show you, and then we'll do it all together. One last review and then do a count and then go on the board. Except arms are right foot, like the left foot, left hand. One, two, big arms on with the right foot, all the way. Three, four, press forward into the fourth third. Five, six, snap, seven, down, eight, make sure that hip hop. Shot backwards, nine, ten, open up attitude, eleven, twelve, nice illusion, third, four, open up, fifth, six, go into this attitude turn, one, two with the left leg, press three, four. Shoot the goalie, five, six, lift the shoulder, seven, eight, open up to that, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, around the head, and press it down, there, four, five, six. So now let's do a whip count. I'll do a bunch of music, and we'll do it all together. Five, and six, and five, six. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, eleven, eight, twelve, third. Six, six, one, three, five, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, third, six, six. All right, music time. Are you watching me? Yes. So just watching me, and then we'll do it all together. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, um, do we want to do it once more? Yeah, let's do one more. One more, okay, last one. Go super full out. Let's get it. Not everything's gonna be like that. This was just more for fun. So, good job. All right, and we're advanced. Okay. All right, guys. So, I really hope that you enjoyed our little mini dance class. You all looked amazing, and it was very, very nice to see the group of you uh, performing and having fun and moving and doing something as a group. Um, I just want to remind everyone as um, we let, get ready to let you go that if you have any questions about um, accessing video content or um, calendar of master classes, how to make that happen, um, or just any questions in general about being in the group, go ahead and reach out to me uh, via email and or um, social media. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and post my email in the chat. Um, and then like I said, we will, I will continue to send out um, regular communication just to kind of let you guys know what the staff is working on, what Troopers is working on, and what tools we have available to you to really help you make uh, help make you guys become the best performers you can be. That truly is our goal for this next season is to make you the best versions of yourselves that you can be, um, have the most fun. And really, I keep saying it in all of our emails, but um, I want to, we all want to give you the best summer you've ever had. So that is the goal and everything that we do and give is uh, forwarding that goal. So if there are no further questions, um, we're gonna go ahead and, and let you guys go and say good night. I know some, it's late for some of you. So um, thank you so much for joining and we look forward to seeing you in future master classes and at Troopers. Bye everyone. Bye you guys. Bye. 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 Tell your friends, bye. <laughs> yes, bring a friend, bring a friend. Mm -hmm.